Hi everybody, this is MJ from OffGridOnline.net. I'm going to demonstrate how to hook up the permanent magnet alternator that I have for sale on eBay at the moment. It may not be on there when you video, view this video, but I'm going to leave the video just so I can educate anybody that might be interested in learning how to hook it up. The permanent magnet alternator, as you can see here, is from purchased from windbluepower.com. It has a three-phase output, and they use what is commonly used as a trailer connection for an automobile, um, and it's pigtailed out of the unit. It has three wires. That's what gives you your three-phase um, alternating current output. It also has a regulator that it's normally inside of the unit, but I removed it for the purposes of minimizing cost, and I'll explain why. Uh, this would give you DC voltage out, whereas the three phase gives you AC voltage out. Um, what happens is with DC voltage, let's say you have your generator up really high, you're going to have to run a really thick cable all the way from your generator down to your battery bank just to maintain some sort of amperage rating. An easier and cheaper way of doing that would be to maintain the three phase all the way from the, the top of the pole down to your battery bank and then convert it into DC. That will minimize you having to have a very thick cable um, to charge your batteries. So that's why I have removed it from the alternator. They also sell them separately where you can have the option of using the three phase or the DC directly off of the unit. But it's the same exact regulator that you can purchase separately. So you just simply remove the back cover, um, disconnect the regulator which is bolted on with the, the nuts as you can see here, and just remove it from the unit. Then you can take a, a regular extension cord the thicker the better. Uh, if you can get 12 gauge, that'd be, that'd be more than sufficient for, uh, you know, I, I won't even estimate an average distance, but I've used it for at least 50 foot and, and it works beautifully. So as you can see, I, all I did was connect three wires from the extension cord. Colors do not matter. They're, each of these terminals pr produce the same amount of AC voltage and they're off phase from each other in the regulator compensates for that. So you connect the three wires here and you connect the other, the other end into the alternator. You can use the, the uh, male connector for this trailer harness. This is, I'm just pushing it in there temporarily just for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to stick those in there and I have hooked up, uh, here's the three AC inputs your output will be this side, which is the positive side, and this side, which is the negative side. So you ground this to whatever your negative terminal is, and then this will be your positive terminal. And you can know the difference because this plastic cover that comes out of here, I just put it back onto the unit so I can know which side is the positive end. I go ahead and I've, I've crimped on the positive terminal. The negative terminal, as I said here, would be on this end of the regulator. So just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to place my negative lead just sitting it on there. Um, I probably should use a clamp, but I don't have one handy at the moment. And then what I've done on the alternator, this is just screwed on by hand. Uh, had this piece of steel that I cut using a plasma torch, uh, you know, just real rudimentary. And I'm just using a, a gear and a washer for now, just for spacer. So it's not going to be perfectly aligned right now because I'm not using uh, the proper spacing for it. But I needed to put a spacer on there just to get the this thin piece of metal to clamp on tight. So now that I've got that on there, basically I'm just going to use it so I can spin the, the alternator easier. I've got this um, meter set on the 20 volts DC measurement and I'll just start spinning it and of course if the ground is not hooked up it's not going to damage to give you any measurements 
the dry run I did before this video worked out really well. Now it's giving me problems. Okay, so you can see at this very slow s pace, I'm already hitting 6, 7 volts. And there's 12 volts right there. 14, spike that. And as, as you can see, it, it doesn't take very much for this particular PMA to reach 12 volts. I believe the the measurement according to the website is uh, 150 miles per hour or something like that. What did he just say? I gotta hear that again. I know he didn't say 150 miles an hour. The measurement according to the website is uh, 150 miles per hour or something like that. And it's not not too much. This is designed the the DC 540 is designed for low wind. I have the other unit. Um, I did have it installed on the roof earlier for about a year. It was doing fine, but uh, the bracket that I had it mounted on was not doing as well as the, the generator, so I had to remove it. And I just haven't gotten back to putting it back up. But it did produce power, and it did charge batteries. Um, according to the estimates on their website, uh, it's approximately 100, 100 watts of charging power with this particular unit. Thank you for watching. Please rate our videos.